Hi, my Valley Boy and Victorious people. Welcome back to Brenda's Kitchen and More. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make some keto chocolate chip and butterscotch cookies. So, before we get into the ingredients, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So, let's get into the video, guys. Here, I already have two and a half cups of almond flour and I have half a tablespoon of bacon powder here I have one stick of butter and I have it salted so I'm not gonna add salt to mine that's all I had and then I'm also gonna add two tablespoons of hemp seed that's one Two. This is. I have my hemp seed in here. I'm also gonna add chia seed, one tablespoon. I think I'm gonna do two. Two tablespoons of chia seed. There we go. And that's the one that I use. Then I'm gonna into my butter. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla extract and this is the vanilla that I using and I'm also gonna add one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream into my wet ingredients And I'm also going to add half a cup here. I blended up uh, some monk fruit and some uh, stevia. So I'm going to do a heaping <laughs> half a cup of sweetener. And let's mix it. Let's mix all of our dry ingredients. Okay. Okay, and after that, I'm going to add, usually it's two large eggs that I add into it, but I'm going to do three medium-sized ones. There's one. Two. And here's my third one. Three. Okay, there it is. And then I'm gonna whisk it in together really, really good. Make sure it's well incorporated. Once it's well, just pour it into your dry ingredients. Okay, and just start mixing it. And I like to add hemp seed and chia seed just so they could have more, you know, so the cookies would be more healthier for them. Okay. Once that is done, we are going to add, I'm going to add some Lily's chocolate. I did the chocolate one and I'm also adding the butterscotch flavored one to a mixture. 
These are my favorite ones. And I'm going to add half a cup of chopped walnuts. I added half a cup and half of a half a cup of walnuts, guys. Let's mix it in. God, it smells so delicious. And I forgot to mention to you guys that I am going to add some coconut flakes to mine. It's going to be half a cup. Okay. I love coconut in my cookies. I already had everything mixed in and I remember it was like the coconut. Can't forget the coconut. I love coconut. Okay, and once it's well incorporated, I'm going to get my sheet pan and start adding them. I'm going to put them in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes just so they could combine so the flavors could I think that they taste a lot better. So I have my sheet pan here lined up already and just start scooping. Okay, and I got them out of the refrigerator. I already have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And they're going in. The first ones that came out, look at how delicious. Only if you guys could smell it. They're super delicious. I'm gonna let these get cold and then I'm gonna put some other ones in the oven, guys. And I'll show you guys how they look. Ooh, they're soft. Mm, can't wait to try them. Okay. And here are, is our second batch of our cookies. I made 32 of them. And I use this ice cream scooper. That's what I use. I made 32. They are super delicious. I tried one already and my daughter did too. She said they were delicious guys. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in another video guys.